Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be my attempt to try to repair these headphones. Uh, the issue I'm having when I plug it in, the volume is really low and weak, and uh, it sounds kind of high pitched, and it's definitely not kind of that full sound that you would be expecting. And uh, if I take the the edge of the the jack that you would plug into your 3.5 millimeter jack, it kind of can at sometimes come in intermittently, but it never has a full strong signal. So I'm going to show you my steps on how I'm going to try to fix this thing. So the basic idea is this is the tail end that you would plug in. And I'm going to, I've already done it, I've actually uh, taken a wire cutters and I just cut this end off. And that exposed three wires. There's a red, a green, and a copper. And I believe this is the problem here. This, this something inside here is not working right. So we're going to perform a transplant. So I grabbed this. This is another headphone wire from another device of some kind. I just uh, cut the end off and exposed those same three wires. Now I did some initial testing with this, and you can't just like solder the or take alligator clips. And, and these guys won't work. Um, they're, they're, they're these thin headphone type wires. And I believe that they actually have some kind of non-conductive coating or painting lacquer on them. And so um, they're non-conductive, which is kind of fascinating. But all reports would indicate that uh, if you solder them together, it should work just fine. So uh, I'm going to attempt to try to twist them together in such a way that uh, I can solder it and hopefully it'll form a new connection. Next thing... I do want to keep you guys aware of is um, it's important that you think ahead. So I'm going to be using some heat shrink tubing. I want to want to put one over this these two wires that'll kind of ultimately cover up this area. And then you also want to be thinking individually within these things. So like when this green and the green get soldered together, how do I make sure that it's not touching the other two wires? So let's go ahead and get some heat shrink tubing on here and see if that can help our problem. So it's a little bit weird to solder wire to wire like this, um, but I think ultimately it worked. Once you applied the heat, you, do, you could tell that the lacquer was burning off, and it does appear that these are wires are bonded together. So now I'm just, before I proceed any further, I'm going to test it and see if this is actually works or not. Haha! -ha! You bet. Works perfectly. So um, that's good. Now what I need to do is tidy these wires up in such a way that they will not, basically these, these silver points here cannot contact one another. So we need to have separation. taken little bits of masking tape and separated each of the three 
little wires so they're not touching each other. And I've got my heat shrink tubing. Put this right over top. And we'll heat it up and we should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have problems with your headphones, hopefully this can help you. Get them back up to life with a little transplant surgery. Thanks. Bye.